is a powerful force. It'll run a woman, a mother, right into the flames of fire after her baby if she knows she's plunging herself to death. There's nothing more strong than love. Love will make you trust. You might go and know that you belong to the greatest church in all the provinces of Canada. You might know that you're the charter member of the greatest church in the nation. And then you would do things that you would not do if you belonged to a little mission somewhere in some corner and had the love of God in your heart. Love has no fear. Love casts out fear. And I notice in my meaning so much that when I come into the people, one of the great things I find among them is fear. And what makes fear is lack of confidence. If you lack confidence, it will make you fear. But if you love, it casts away that fear. And that's the way God wants His church. Not so many as charter members. He wants members that loyal and loves and believes and that confidence in Him. For instance, my wife is somewhere in the needy tonight in the audience. I love her with all my heart. And when I get ready to go overseas, now what if my wife, I call her by the arm and said, Listen here, Mrs. Branham, while I'm gone overseas, thou shalt not have any more husbands. And if I ever hear of you flirting with any other man while I'm gone, woe unto you when I get back. And then if she'd catch me by the coat collar and say, That's very well, Mr. Branham. But I want you to have a little law, too. If I hear of you going out with another woman, war unto you when you come back. Now, wouldn't that be a home? Well, that's just about the way we make God's place a dwelling. Some kind of legalistic laws that we have to keep. What do I do when I go overseas? I love my wife. And as long as I love her, I got confidence in her. We just get down in the floor and pray together, bring our little children around us. They pray, God, take care of Daddy, bring him back. I pray, God, take care of the family while I'm gone. I raise up, kiss her goodbye, kiss the babies. She said, Billy, I'll be praying for you while you're gone. That settles it. We think no more about it. And if I was overseas, under the law, I know I'd be divorced when I get back. If I went out with someone else, I'd be a miserable man. But if I was over there, no matter what kind of a condition I was in, and I knew that I could cheat on her and come back and tell her, and she would forgive me for it. I still wouldn't do it. I wouldn't hurt her for nothing. No, sir, if I know she'd say, Bill, I understand. I forgive you. I couldn't look her in the face. I think too much of her. I tell you, brother, when the love of God comes into the human heart, it'll drive all these things. You don't have to worry about smoking, drinking, and running to buy scopes. When the love of Christ comes into your heart, you would do nothing to hurt him. Not walking around saying they're narrow-minded and they're this way and that way. Just let the love of God strike you once. Those things die. Your whole affections is placed on Christ. You've got eternal life then. When you believe him, when you really believe him, and get married to him, and die out to the things of the world. God projects His love. And His love makes you what you are. Oh, there's many things we could say about it. 
Many people wonder what takes place. Think it's some sort of a mystic. It isn't. It's love. That's the main thing. Is loving Christ. Not just saying you do, but from your heart love him. I've seen the cruelest of devils conquered. I've seen wild animals floor themselves in the presence of God's love. Love casteth the fear away. 